The uh, city is issuing or is starting a uh, full audit of your official zoning map at this right. point. So can you explain what that process of the audit auditing will be here in the city? Yes. Um, what exactly um, that entails is looking at previous zoning actions or Zoning Board of Appeal actions on each and every property to see if any of those occurred. Uh, and so that would be then compared to our zoning map, compared to any case files that are associated with that particular property, and then to compare that back to the county's zoning map. And in addition to all of that, there will be discussions and meetings with county staff as well. Okay, and if there are discrepancies found, what would be the next step? And if, if, if homeowners find that their house maybe is zoned different under the city than it was in DeKalb, would they have an option at that point to stay? Well, uh, what will happen is we'll report that to the council with um, options for what can happen next. So until we know what that is after we conduct the audit, uh, whatever our findings are, we'll report that to the mayor and council. So would it be up to the mayor and council's well, discretion? It'll just, well, no, not necessarily. It'll just be up to them to understand what that does to the overall zoning map. Uh, you know, some of the options would be to readopt the zoning map, uh, to um, have administrative rezoning whereby the, the council or the city of Brookhaven is the actual applicant to administratively rezone, but they have to follow the Zoning Procedures Act anyway, so they would have to, this would have to go as an application to the Planning Commission. They would review it, they would make a recommendation, and then it comes back to the city for adoption, if, you know, that's the course that's taken. And, um, and I think we all realize that we ended up with uh, basically some bad data on our maps, and uh, now we're being held to something that no one wants to try to up uphold. Even, it sounded like that this is actually kind of unprecedented. So it may even be hard to find other examples of where a new city or a large section was actually adopted to then understand how the law applies to that area. Um, so we are encouraged that there's a uh, resolution to look into this and uh, we look forward to hearing more from the city. I think it went very well from a standpoint that we got to hear a lot from the community. We got to hear a lot from staff. We went till 1035 trying to sort this issue out. I think the community understands that we're engaged on it. We've been for the last two weeks trying to find a solution to this issue. So um, from that standpoint, it went well. You know, there's no resolution yet, so I, that, that's given me angst. It's given the residents angst as well. But uh, I, think it, I think it went well because people were well-behaved, we were well-behaved, and we had a lot of dialogue, a lot of information exchange. <laughs> we resolved that, you know, last week I ordered, or I ordered, I asked that staff be uh, conduct an audit of all of our zoning maps. So they started that uh, job yesterday with going down to Cab County and speaking to the staff down there about what can be done to make sure our zoning map can be relied upon. But, you know, just like we inherited potholes and we and, and inherited issues with our parks, we inherited issues from the map that we came, came over from DeKalb County. And we can't sit and whine about it. We just got to get down and fix it and get it get it uh, taken care of so that we, mo moving forward, people can have confidence in our zoning map. So they have confidence in their parks are going to be safe and clean, just like they're in the confidence that when they drive down the road in a couple of years, they're not going to be screwing up their uh, suspension on their car.